There's a waterfall in Samoa called Papasa'a and the tradition is to jump from the top of the waterfall into the pool below. As a person who's petrified of heights, this became a seminal moment in my life and I realised that you have to do it. You have to jump. And it was the most amazing feeling of freedom and conquering fear. My name's Nikki Hastings McFall and I'm an artist and I was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 47. One day I went for a checkup and it was over pretty quick and my doctor said, well, is there anything else? I said, well, I've got an inverted nipple, you know. And she said, well, take your top off, and I did. And then she said, lift your arms up, so I did. And she went white and her mouth dropped open. And that's when I knew it wasn't very good. The day after having been diagnosed, you wake up and for a split second you've forgotten and then suddenly that remembrance comes upon you and you realise that you've got to deal with this thing. Papasa'a became my personal symbol of faith in that you must jump to, to move forwards no matter how frightened you are. You lose your hair and in my case your breast, those sort of feminine things. I remember walking down Queen Street and older sort of people looking at me very judgmentally. And then you'd get people who'd been through it or who had partners or loved ones that had been through it and they would just look at you and smile and nod and you'd know that they were part of that club. I did feel that this was a definite possibility. Through my artwork I began exploring the transience of life. I guess I was exploring my own mortality and trying to find answers. I suppose I do believe in miracles because I went to the doctor about a month ago and got the all clear, which as you can imagine was a fantastic feeling after all this time. I'd just like to say to all women, but especially Māori and Pacific Island women, if you're worried about anything, get checked out. Don't be afraid. Courage in the face of fear is true courage. <laughs>